A Southland couple has been sentenced to three years behind bars, thousands of miles away in Qatar. Prosecutors claim the couple starved their eight-year-old adopted daughter to death, but the California Innocence Project says that's not true and the trial was unfair. Tonight, KCAL9's Rachel Kim is live in San Gabriel, where the couple is from. Rachel. Well, Susie's supporters say the couple had already bought airline tickets to fly back home today, fully expecting to be acquitted. Tonight, shock after the three-year prison sentence after what many believed was a fraudulent case. We have just wrongfully been convicted, and we feel as if we are being kidnapped by the Qatar judicial system. Moments after Matthew and Grace Hong were sentenced to three years in prison for their daughter's death, the San Gabriel couple declared their innocence. This verdict should be overturned immediately and we should be allowed to go home. In 2012, Matthew, Grace and their three adopted children from Africa moved to Qatar, where Matthew, a Stanford-educated engineer, took a job working on infrastructure improvements. Their case began in January 2013, when the couple's eight-year-old daughter, Gloria, suddenly died. The Hong said she had an eating disorder stemming from malnourishment in early childhood. But authorities in Qatar arrested the Hongs, accusing them of starving Gloria to death with intent to sell her organs. The police developed a theory that they had been trafficking organs, and it's absolutely ludicrous. Justin Brooks is the director of the California Innocence Project based at the California Western School of Law. He says the group has already established the lack of evidence in this case. We're never going to know exactly what happened because there was an autopsy done that we find out now is fraudulent. Brooks believes racial and cultural misunderstandings by officials in the Muslim country about Western-style adoptions may be to blame. In the actual police reports, it's stated, you know, why would um, these Asian parents adopt black children? The couple will remain free during the appeal process. Now the American embassy is following the case, and the Hongs are calling on President Obama to get involved. Reporting live tonight in San Gabriel, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.